Welcome back, this is Jack. I've got some coffee. We're gonna be playing some Dishonored. After having a drink of my coffee. Picking up right where we left off. We are going in to meet somebody. Oh, there's gotta be a way to put away my weapons. We're meeting these people called the Loyalist. Okay, I think just time does it. All right. So it's starting at last, Admiral. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. So I want to bring this up real fast. Yeah, noble and military is represented. Where's the working class, huh? Hmm? No working class? Is he is he supposed to be the working I'll be class? Crafting your weapons and gear. I just wanted to complain. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of the master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil from the stable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Yeah, so the fuel they're using here is whale oil. As you can Perfect. see. Now plug it in. And that was their way of saying I can make Perfect. it detonate. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Is the lens out of alignment? There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. And they do make a good excuse why you have to get things for him. Uh, spring razor, a trap that can be placed on any nearby surface. Bullet. Sleep bolt. I think I like the idea of the sleep bolts. Um, let's see what upgrades we have, because I think I care more about those. Uh, crossbow accuracy. Mask optics. Uh, let's do... Actually, do I even have enough? Yeah, I have just enough for one thing. So let's go ahead and pick that up, and I'll go ahead and pick up one sleep bolt. No, two more. You must be exhausted. I yeah. advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. I'm not gonna lie, for some reason it's a little creepy that everybody's like, oh, you need to get some sleep. This is going to be largely cinematic, so you might see me uh, just leave it on uh, cinematic mode. Well, I like what they've done with the place. It's very um, open-aired and ground. Hello, Corvo. 
Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. So basically, I just became, I'm going to call it a warlock, where I draw power from... Uh, press right-click to execute fast, stealthy forward dashes into the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Okay, I can hold it to target. You cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It seems uh, rather redundant. I'm very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm not I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it in the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. I got a feeling that's actually real. Although there are two of the same person. Don't do acid, kids. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all. Okay. Equip the heart left hand lets you locate bone charms or runes, even walk up, even through walls. The heart beats faster and lights up when you're facing a bone charm or rune and beats faster. Right click will hear a whisper here a few secrets when targeting a person or location. And the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and love is gnawed by our teeth. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. I can feel the great age ending. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor okay, centuries. Okay, they're in repeat. There we go. I have a rune. Once you've collected some runes, open the journal, go to the power section, exchange them for power. Uh, let's see here. Oh. If 
Vitality. Health regeneration improved. That already sounds good. Uh, dark vision. See in the dark and see living beings through walls. Include their field of vision, representation of the sound, which would really help me with stealth. I'm going to go with that just because I'm trying not to be too combat oriented. Because I'm trying not to kill things How in this game. How you what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Gives me the feeling of like a, um, I'm going to call them like an old god, not a chaos god, but an old god, you know, the one who like just kind of sits back behind everything and just watches. I'm like, eh, I'm going to move this piece here just to mess with things. Let's see here. Press any key to continue. I keep forgetting this game really doesn't have load screens for me. Because it's on the computer and I've got it all. My computer's actually really good. Oh, but I see loot. Bone charms provide super, uh, supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening to any song they emit. And by default, you can activate three bone charms at a time. Pick all that, this up. I am not reading that. Ooh, a lot of bone charms just sitting here chilling. Mystical fish. What? <laughs> Random thing just sitting on a counter. Mystical rat artifact. Oh. For the model. Right, let's see here. Oh, mystical whale artifacts. There we go. Yeah, something about Granny Rags, who I know who that is. I've gotten that far where you meet her. Or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. Someone in the base the only is way to help them is to bring them to the city walk. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Such laughter, and then they're singing the old songs, linking odds. But that was from a happy time. I know this was out here, and I'll see if I can get here safely. Because anytime there's water in a game and I can swim in it, I'm always afraid, like, there's gonna be a giant effing gator about to come kill me or something. Especially in a game where there's already, like, infestation stuff. Oh, yeah, and there's a, um, something's after me. Let me heal all fast. Oh, I got another rune. All right. Uh, let's acquire a new power. Let's see what I can get. Can I upgrade anything? No, so I have to get vitality now. Alright, well, but that's good. That means I'm less likely to die. In theory. Asterisk. Yeah, there's a, um, I should have teleported. Because I'm being eaten right now. Oh, that's dark vision. Yeah, won't well, let me jump out of the water. There, now, now I'm out of the water. Not being eaten, eaten by a weird barracuda thing. Oh, I have to cancel it, okay. It is not being helpful towards me right now. Here, I'll just teleport there. Okay, cool. I don't know why I hadn't done this earlier. There we go. That actually recharges decently fast, so. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Deals are made here. Oh. Sometimes under the influence of the blind. And sometimes the influence is the point of the night. Well, there let's we go. get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. 
That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here. Alright, we're gonna take a quick look around because I think there's actually more I can do in the immediate sense. Uh, no, it's not giving me anything. I thought it would, but I guess it doesn't. Oh. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. All right, ever. Oh, here we go. This is what oh. I was looking for. I knew this was a thing. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer, that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me, but my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Guilt trip me, woman. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. I'd recommend going. Alright, let's see what he wants real fast. Where is the old... Where is the uh, crazy guy? Is he upstairs? I think some stuff to steal. What can I do for you? Uh, I thought I already... Okay, let's, let's look again, I guess. Oh, uh, I guess this is just their way... Oh, because I got all those rune, those things earlier. Okay, and he has a uh, he does have a rune for me. So let's go ahead and pick that up. There, I have max sleep darts for now. Combat sleep dart. Okay. Uh, let's increase my accuracy. That's important. I can increase that. And let's do bolt capacity. There we go. There. Now you're going to let me go? Ready to go. Just give the signal. Alright, we're going to go to the distillery district. Putting on this really cool mask. Um, you can apparently 3D print one of those. It won't be as good, obviously, but... Dara designs for it on, uh, the internet. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Alright. But I did get a rune, so let's see here. Oh, Bone Charms. Uh, power slightly effectively accrued. Can be consumed, won't attack me. That's important. Uh, drop assassin. Uh, nope. Nope. Yep. There we go. And I thought 
thought I put, picked up a rune, but I got nothing I can upgrade just yet, so. I'll worry about that later then. Okay, so we are now on the uh, island. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually just did a uh, save load because I pressed the wrong button and started sprinting instead of stealthing. So, kind of the opposite. This city's gonna burn. I've sold everything, so there's nothing for me new uh, here except for you. I have a feeling that those people are dead. Oh, yeah. Let me check this. Bone charms. Alright, all those are set. Powers, nothing here I need to worry about. Alright, so let's let's keep moving stealthily. Now I could dart him. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Yeah, they're just tossing bodies into that. <laughs> I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. Good. Keep them coming. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. Right, so we got a rune over this way. Lord Let's go check. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, Continuing crisis. The overseers of the Abbey of the oh, no, remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Yes, I Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Alright, so we found granny rags. There's a lot of weird boat things all over the place. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing you. What will you do, I wonder? I know what I want to do, but we'll see if I can, um, I'll be good enough to do it. Did I just get a new power? I got a new power. So I can improve my dark vision or I can bend time. There's all these things, but I don't want them. Wait, what's this? Oh, okay. That leaves no corpses, so. Let's go ahead and do that. I do want that possession ability. It'll allow me to turn into a rat and then, or take over a rat and then go through like certain areas, but. I think the little birdies are sad today. Long ago, Granny Rags danced at a court. Men begged to marry her. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Is that you, my dear husband? Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdie. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I'm hoping this doesn't mean that they're going to force me to have to kill them. Oh Why not? no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Let us in, Granny. Would you look at this? You don't walk in a bottle street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. 
Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. His father was one of the first to die. Okay. Oh, that was not the darts I thought they were. I told you the knives go on the left. They're always on the left. You never listen. Oh, I killed people and I didn't want to. I feel a little upset with myself. Oh, well. Oh, no, they're unconscious. I think the little birdies are sad today. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. How crazy she is, or how much of that's supposed to be an act? Yes, I will. Yeah, now that's suddenly there. It wasn't there earlier. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these bottle street children, ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess Found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still. That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. All right, that's actually all I have time for today. I might be getting my PlayStation back, and I gotta get ready to go get it. So, um, I do apologize. I'm cutting this one very short, and I also do apologize for that horn. I don't have good uh, sound control over my uh, place to uh, my my recording studio. So, anyway, take care. Thank you for watching. This has been Jack with the Geeks Perspective. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can be alerted and follow all my additional content coming out. Not to mention, if you go down into the comments, you'll find all my social media accounts, including Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and even a Patreon down below. And by being a Patreon member, you'll be able to access videos as soon as I post them, and even some videos that do not get released for even months at a time. So, thank you, and thank you for supporting me.